Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be setting up proxy chains alongside the tool series in Kali Linux. One of the ways you can use to stay anonymous or anonymize your identity on the internet is through the use of proxies or proxy chains. So um, a proxy or a proxy server just basically acts as a middleman between your device or computer and the internet. So I'm going to head over to get started and open up my terminal emulator. My terminal, let me maximize my terminal and then increase the size. Yeah, so um, in here, the first thing I want to do is to update the package list. So to do that, I'm going to type in sudo apt update, sorry, update, and then enter my password. So the next thing for me to do is I'm going to do is to install the tool service on my Kali, on my Kali Linux distro. So to do that, I'm going to clear up my screen. And uh, to install the tool service, I'm going to use the command sudo apt install. Sorry, install. Oh, this is the command I'm going to use. I'll hit enter for my keyboard. And it's going to ask me if I want to continue. Type Y for yes and hit enter. Yeah, so some services have been installed in the system, so I would like to restart them or select yes and hit enter. So you see that um, services restarted successfully. Yeah, so um, a tour ser um, service has been installed. And uh, next thing for me to do is to start the tour service. So to do that, I'll type in command service. Sorry, sudo. I'm going to screen so you can see. sudo service um, tour start. Starts. So I'm going to start the service, the tour service. Hit enter for my keyboard. Yeah, so you can see that it didn't return an error, which shows that the service has started successfully. We can also confirm this by using confirm the check the status. Uh, so to do it, to check the status, I'm going to use uh, command sudo. Sorry, sudo uh, service tour status. Sorry, status. Hit enter for my keyboard. You can see that the status is active, so service is active. So, yeah, so I'm going to minimize this. And uh, next thing for me to do is to um, locate the proxy chains file, the proxy chain configuration file. But before I do that, um, first and foremost, first of all, uh, try to update the database that's used by the locate command. So, to do that, I'm going to use the updates db command. Sorry, sudo, let me use the root privilege. It turns up my keyboard, enter my password. Yeah, so it's done updating the database use that will be used by that's used by locate command. So to next thing for me to do is to um locate the configurational file or proxy chains. So to do that, I'll type in locate proxy chains and then I'll hit enter. Yeah, so if I scroll up, I should see find the configurational file of the proxy chains, which is this one, since slash etc slash proxy chains slash four, uh, proxy chains four dot com. So I'm going to copy this and uh, I will open up the file using a text editor. So for the purpose of this video, you can use any text editor you want, but for the purpose of the video, to keep things simple, I'm going to use the nano text editor. So I'll type in sudo nano and I'll paste the it enter for my keyboard. And then here you can see that this is the file. And here I'm going to scroll down to my dynamic chain. You can see that it's disabled. So I'm going to remove the pound sign, which are, as you all know, the pound or the hash sign is used in programming, uh, Python programming language and bash scripting language to uh, comment out the line of code. So I'm going to remove this hash sign, which will enable the dynamic chain. And I'll scroll down. Yeah, so we have strict chain. So where we see or find strict chain, we're going to disable that by using the pound sign. Uh, to comment that out, to disable the strict chain. I'll scroll down again. Uh, a random chain is also disabled. We're not using a random chain. So let me scroll down. So proxy DNS, you can see that a proxy DNS uh, request has been disabled. So um, we're going to enable that. This is uh, such that if this, if our proxy DNS request is disabled, then our DNS uh, request or data is likely to be leaked to any DNS server that's probably may be owned by a uh, an ISP which uh, probably may see what we're, uh, we're doing on the internet. So I'm going to enable that by removing the pound sign and then we have our DNS uh, request enabled, proxy DNS request enabled. So I'm going to scroll down after that. Here we have a 
proxy types. You have source files, HTTP, source four, HTTP. So these are types of proxy servers that uh, you could uh, use. So um, let's go to my proxy list. And by default, uh, the tour service uses this pro uh, proxy. And uh, we're going to set up our own proxy. So to do that, I'll type in SOX. I'm going to use in SOX5, which as you may assume, SOX5 is more secure than the SOX4 proxy. I'm going to add up my own and, uh, IP address. Let me say 127.1. For the purpose of the video to keep it simple, 90, sorry, 90, 50, which is the port number. So once I'm done with this, um, I will uh, control X from my keyboard to exit and type Y for yes and hit enter to overwrite the file in order to save my configuration. Hit enter from my keyboard. You can see that our file our configuration was saved successfully, no error return. So yeah, we've done configuring proxy chain. So the next thing is, uh, I'm going to do is um, I'm going to. Uh, Test if our proxy is actually working. So to do that, I mean proxy chains, proxy chains, Firefox. Sorry, Firefox. Google, Google.com. Once I'm done, I'll hit enter for my keyboard. So I could minimize this. So you could see how once it opens up. So proxy chains, the Firefox to Google.com. Hit enter for my keyboard. Yeah, so you see that a Firefox did open up. And you see that the logs have been locked here. I could zoom this out so you could see how the logs are happening. So our proxy chain is working. I don't know the language of this. Actually, change the language. I think I needed this asset. So yeah, our proxy chain is working. And I could go to a side, let's say, if you see, if I type in, where is my IP address? Then with my keyboard, let's try accessing a site because this is not my actual IP address. It actually that uh, this uh, is actually working. So we can also test uh, this site. Let's say let's open up this site. If I open the site up, it's gonna you can see that what's my IP address.com has been logged here. Let's say I open up another website and say ip.com. Let's say I IP location, yeah, IP location.net to find out where you can see this is my IP address. So you can see IP location is being also, it's also logged here, IP location.net. You can see it's location.net. Yeah. And uh, if we go here to check our IP address, so um, yeah, you can see our IP address has also is different. I'm actually, not in the book. This is my IP address, which it gave me. Uh, proxy is actually working. So I can actually also do a DNS leak test. So basically what that means is that uh, a DNS leak test offers a simple test to determine if your DNS uh, request or whether your DNS requests are being leaked, which may represent a critical privacy threat uh, to you. So um, to do that, to check if whether our DNS uh, is being leaked or not, we'll just type in DNS leak test. Sorry. Test, hit enter on my keyboard. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so if I go to this website, and again, you can see dnsleaktest.com is logged here. So you can see dnsleaktest, if, if I click on standard test, so you can see that uh, IP has actually, this is not my actual IP, it's been changed dynamically. So um, that's uh, show that uh, this uh, is actually working. So that's basically, we can check another, um, Website, let's see. Uh, check this one dnsleak.com is being locked here. So, um, if you do this one, yeah, so let's check this one. You see, my question is Germany, we showing that I'm in Germany. So, you see that uh, DNS is, is not actually leaking out. I'm not actually in, in Germany. So, this is basically showing that this proxy uh, change is actually working, has been probably configured and uh, yeah, it's working. So uh, basically that's the, uh, we've actually succeeded in configuring proxy chains and running the TOS service, starting up the TOS service and checking out the uh, configuration. So uh, that's pretty much it in this video. Thank you so much for watching.